What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are playing Dota, Pose 4, Trian Protector. Almost said uh, something wrong there. I don't know what the hell I would have said. But anyway, we're playing Treant, uh up against an Ursa and a Leech. Uh, my Pose 3 is going to be the Pudge. We've got Puck in our team and Juggernaut and Hoodwink. We're up against the OD, another OD for some reason. Then... Uh, Naga Siren and a Earth Shaker. So they're going for some Wombo combos in their team. Over here, you, you can see I'm just trying my best to stop the Leech, firstly, from blocking our camp. Then, secondly, I am pulling this, um, our, the, the, the creeps because I want my Pudge to have a good time in the lane. I don't want my Pudge to struggle. I want him to be able to uh, farm, uh, get some kills, especially up against the Ursa being not the best matchup we get the kill on the leech and some nice stacks for the pudge and here I, again i'm pulling the camp i'm just making sure that the creep wave isn't in their tower they are going to be farming by us uh, underneath our tower and here i'm going to make sure i uh, deny the flag bearer making sure they don't get that extra gold uh backing off you know stopping the pull i'm just showing you guys here a little bit of what i do when i do support uh, just stopping the pulls, stopping as much as I can, you know, with what I can, you know. So over here, a great hook from the Pudge. They do try to protect the Ursa, but he ends up going down to Leech Seed, which is perfect. This is their carry. Now I'm going to get a Deep Ward in here. Uh, we do spot the Ursa here. Making sure, you know, if we wanted to gank the Ursa, we know where it is. OD does TP in, but I do make a mistake with... My, uh, with my um, my grasp, so we weren't able to do anything. Uh, drop my leech seed, trying to heal up as much as possible, but you know what, it's time to back now. They've got four heroes in. It's only the three of us. Pudge did go down, and you know, it was, it was just time to back because we couldn't do much, unfortunately. Pudge gets the kill onto, oh sorry, the Hoodwing gets the kill onto the, onto the leech. Uh, another good kill for us. You can see the jug is farming, making sure that he gets all the farm he can. Now, I did jump in with a massive overgrowth, but it ended up not working out because I wanted to protect the Puck, and Puck anyway died, uh, which is not... It's a bad play from my side uh, over here. Ursa again. Ursa's making a lot of mistakes. This does give us a very good chance in this game, trying to, you know... Do as much as possible by also protecting our cores. It's a three for one trade. Not ideal, but, you know, we still get it. Puck now coming in. And this could be more. It ends up being four. Earthshaker blinks out. We can't do much about him. I did go for shard. It does allow me to be invis in these trees. After that, I am going to go for my blink dagger because this is going to be my form of initiation. Uh, if I can jump in and overgrowth as many of them as possible, it's going to be good. Um, they do have Ages of Immortality. We have lost two, but we are claiming their lives. Ursa is trying to uh, come back into this fight, but he just has no right to. So he needs to get back. Now looking at killing this OD, our Pudge does go down. And with the help of the Puck, we end up killing this uh killing the od now we are making moves together we are just sticking together trying to be as annoying as possible making sure we close down their map forcing this ursa into team fights forcing them to stop farming and take us on you know we do have the heroes for it jug is nice and farm so he feels like he can get in big blink overgrowth making sure that the Juggernaut is safe, but the Naga Siren does land her ulti, which ends up negating a lot of their damage, which was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and it ended up killing the OD and the and the Ursa. And now we are going to go in for some more. We are going to taste the blood of that Lich trying to go onto the Naga Siren, but we weren't able to get the Naga. Uh, Omni Slash from, uh, from the, the Juggernaut. A uh, big ulti from 
Earthshaker doesn't do a lot of damp damage. Jump in, overgrowth, making sure they can't escape. That is two of them down. That's three of them down. And we can now uh, look at pushing towers. After my blink, I am going to go for my Aghanim Scepter because this is going to give us vision in their jungle if they don't have their Quelling Blade. Now, big ulti from the Earthshaker. I did jump in with my overgrowth. Hoping that again I could save the puck, but I ended up feeding my life away at the same time. Not good. They've claimed again the Ro they've gone for Roshan for the second time this game. We weren't able to do anything. Pretty shitty uh, overgrowth for myself there. Didn't know what I was doing. It was really really bad. Stunned up by Naga's uh, song. Now looking at going onto the leech, but I don't have dust. I need to buy dust. I don't know why I don't have it. They've got a, they've got the invers, so we need to have this dust. But it ends up being a very good fight for us. Something that I thought might be bad ended up being really great. Uh, blink onto the Ursa, making sure that he can't escape, and that is a four four zero trade. And we get the tier three tower and their barracks before the other two cores have spawned, which is perfect for us. We can now back off uh, Omni Slash from the uh from the juggernaut he goes down puck did go in i am on my way to try and help as much as possible overgrowth uh again unfortunately the es got out with a sliver of hp and i have now got my agonim scepter now big fight our pudge is in danger they're trying uh, trying to go onto this pudge but I'm holding my overgrowth and I am going to blink in now, use my overgrowth, making sure that it stops their advance. Again, Nagas are an ulti and it negates the echo slam damage. Thank you so much, Naga. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we have claimed the life of the Ursa, now claiming the life of the ES. And we, ha we did lose Puck, unfortunately. Now, BKB up by the Ursa. Pudge uses his ulti, banished far by the OD. But as soon as BKB wears off, we slow the Ursa and make sure he's dead. Now, Odie trapped amongst four of us. And that means that the we get buybacks from them. We get a buyback from the Odie and we get a buyback from the Leech. I don't think it's going to be good. Um, putting some vision down deeper in, in their fountain, trying to see where they are, what their moves are. Now... The Jug has decided to go on the OD. I've decided to back him up. But with them respawning, the ES jumps in. And I take absolute ridiculous damage from that OD. Ended up killing, getting killed. Our Pudge also ended up going down, unfortunately. Jug escaped. This looking like it could be the last possible fight of the, t of the game. Uh, Ursa does try to jump the backline with a BKB. But a hook from the Pudge and an ulti with myself. We are controlling the Ursa. He goes down now. It's a buyback from the Ursa. The puck is stunned up because of Naga Song. So I'm just standing on the back line, waiting, holding overgrowth. Get, trying to wait for the perfect opportunity. Jump in with an overgrowth. And now we get the kill onto the Ursa. Focus our attention onto the OD. Ulti from the, the Pudge. OD is down. That is a dieback from the OD. I do have Halberd making sure that they aren't able to do it. Halberd and disarm the Ursa, that making sure he can't hit, and that is again another absolute masterclass, guys. It's a full team wipe by the guy by the team. They were a five man. It ended up being a quick victory, and yeah, that was pretty much my tree and protector game. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know. Uh, what I could have done better, what items I could have gone, that was my pause for. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace, cheers, bye.